Hi everyone, this is a fan-based uh, creepypasta based off of Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, written by a really uh, great author. Just definitely check them out, link in the description. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I loved getting into trouble. I was a young girl, what do you expect? Young teenage years, 13. I'm not really that type of girl that's into dolls, dresses, and makeup. I guess you can say I'm in a tomboy girlish style. I invited my friends over for a slumber party. The usual. Staying up all night, watching movies, eating junk food, and even telling spooky stories. The only girly thing that I'm into is watching the Disney Frozen films. What should we do next? My friend Sophie said as we were all just on our phones looking at our Instagrams. I then came up with an awesome idea. Girls, I have an awesome idea. How about we go to the Frozen recording studio? Mackenzie, we're not little any- At night! Like, ghostbusting. I heard it's haunted, I said in a spooky voice interrupting Riley. That seems interesting, Lydia said grinning. Alright! I squealed in excitement as this was the first time in a while that they agreed with any of my ideas. We decided to sneak out when both my parents were fast asleep. We packed flashlights and a map to help us find our way to the studio downtown. The last time I'd gone there was when I was seven. I never went back after some incident that occurred there. As we neared the building, I could feel my heart pounding in my throat as it was getting a bit nervous. No turning back, I said to myself, looking up at the building's sign. We were able to squeeze through an open window that we found. The air then felt a bit chilly as we walked down the main entry hallway. I guess they forgot to turn up the temperature after the big freeze scene like two years ago. Hannah chuckled, bundling up. Or it could be the ghosts. Sophie said in a spooky voice. Do you really think this place is haunted? Lydia asked, looking at some of the drawings. Of course, don't be stupid. Night guards have gone missing over a few years and never found their bodies, along with four children going missing in 1985, I said, shining my flashlight at the animatronics. Some say that their bodies are stuffed inside the robots. Pfft, those are just rumors, Hannah laughed, poking at Anna's arm. My name's Anna. I tried to marry a man I just met, but it didn't turn out good as he tried to kill me. She said in a dumb voice, trying to imitate Anna's voice. They laughed as I rolled my eyes, only to notice that her eyes were staring down at Hannah. Startled, I pointed it out to them. Um, guys? Anna staring at Hannah. Ooh, it's a ghost, Lydia said in a ghostly, spooky voice. They're going to kill us for disturbing their rest. Just then, we all screamed after suddenly being startled from Olaf activating. Hi, I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Then went limp again. After a few moments, we all began to laugh about how we all looked stupid being scared. We then spread out to explore the studio. Lydia went toward the office area, Sophie to the props and storage room, Hannah by the editing revising room, and Riley by the parts and service room. I stayed in the main recording set area. Elsa was always my favorite because of how she was designed, and how she sang. Can't forget about her voice. I was toward the back of the room looking at the filming equipment when I heard footsteps going around the room. When turning around, Olaf was facing me. Um, guys, who moved Olaf? I said out loud, looking at him. They all replied, saying that it wasn't them, staying in the rooms they were already in because I assumed they were too lazy to walk all the way back here. I rolled my eyes, walking cautiously over to the oversized snowman animatronic. Hey buddy, how's it going? I said, kind of nervously, almost like I was trying to keep him calm. How did you move from your spot? I looked for a switch that had accidentally been bumped to on, but his switch was off. A little bit spooked out, I went to step away when my pants leg was caught on the snowman's twig arms and I tripped in front of him. As I fell, his gaze followed me. I scooted back, screaming, startled, and ran out of the room only bumping into Sophie. I explained to her everything that had happened to tripping in front of him. She only scoffed at my story. It's just an animatronic. It's not really alive. If he was, he would only want to give hugs to everyone he sees. These are just rumors and legends. As I argued back with her, an echoey dark deep laugh sounded through the building. I felt my blood run cold and felt as if I forgot how to breathe for a moment. What was that? Sophie asked, worried. We slowly walked to the recording set room to find Elsa facing toward one of the unactivated cameras. We could only stand there in awe, frozen with panic. H how did she move? I whispered. Maybe some interference? Sophie tried to find an explanation. We need to get the others and get out of here. 
Agreeing, we looked all over the studio to find Riley, Lydia, and Hannah. Then we were going to head to the exit. As we were going down the hallway to the exit door, we found that Kristoff was blocking the door, as if he was staring out the door. Great, now what? That's when we heard Riley scream in a panic. Hannah, Lydia, Sophie, and I turned to see Anna dragging her away. With what we could find, the drawings taped to the walls, we tore them off and crumpled them up into balls and threw them at Anna, which then caught her attention. Let her go, Hannah yelled at her. I was the one that harassed you, not her. Come get me, you stupid machine. That's when she made a dash for the office. Anna let Riley go and ran after her. Hannah, Sophie, and Lydia rushed over toward Riley to help her up. She was tearing up and trying not to cry as they ran to the door. Mackenzie, come on! Lydia yelled out. No, I'm helping Hannah, I said before going deeper into the studio. I was running through the hallways and in and out of rooms before I finally found her. She had her back pressed against the wall, the look of horror and terror on her face, still as a rock. Just around the corner was Anna looking around, searching for her. The sound of gears whirring and clinking. Elsa and Olaf walked to the Anna animatronic as if volunteering in the hunt for Hannah. Hannah waved at me to not move as we were just barely out of their vision. I went to move back a bit, but the movement was enough for Elsa to notice and screeched a loud, high-pitched scream. Without even thinking, Hannah and I ran down the hallway, outnumbered with three animatronics after us. We're done, we're done, we're done, I cried out loud. Will you please hush? Hannah yelled at me, slapping me as she pulled me into the parts and service room and closing the door locking it, just seconds before the door began to be rocked by how much force was pressed into it by the three animatronics. I thought they were supposed to be friendly and heartwarming, I said shakingly. I guess not, Hannah said. It seems they're a two-face. After about two minutes, the noises subsided and the animatronics walked away. We were able to relax and we turned to look around the room. We saw spare animatronic parts and a bare endoskeleton in the back corner of the room. An Elsa animatronic was sitting up right on a table. Our hearts dropped as we were scared that it was another one. But after a minute, we realized it was just a spare suit. I sighed while Hannah nervously laughed and took a look at it, but her laugh soon stopped to a disgusted look. Oh my god, someone's dead inside of this suit. She turned, about to throw up. I slowly made my way to the suit to see eyes popping out of the suit and blood running down it. I covered my mouth in shock and horror. Oh god, we need to get out of here, Hannah then said, running to the door. It's clear, let's go before those robots come back. As we were making a dash for the exit, Elsa came around the corner, knocking me down to the ground. Elsa was able to grab my legs and began dragging me toward the parts and service room. The only thing that I could think of was to scream and trying to kick away from her. She was about to get me into the room when a chair slammed right into her, making her fall to the floor. Get up! Run! I heard Hannah screaming at me. I shot up and ran through the exit door with Hannah. We didn't look back as we ran all the way to my house. In the morning, police were at Sophie's house as it was said that Sophie was pronounced missing from last night. We were horrified and scared. What if the person that Hannah and I saw in the suit was Sophie? She possibly turned to help us out but got caught by one of the animatronics. A few weeks passed and then we realized. I had to come forward with my parents and Sophie's about what we did that night of September 17th. I'll never forgive myself. My friend is dead because of me her spirit now stuck inside that awful place.